There we are. Look at all those flying carp. It's a pretty spectacular action. Welcome, we replay viewers. It's the west coast of Japan. We're at a sky tower. It's called Goro Tower. And Goro Tower is um, one of the best viewpoints on the whole western coast of Japan. Overlooks the ocean. Wow. Yeah. Pretty cool. They're like giant kites. <laughs> and they're carp. They're symbolic of uh, young kids having to fight upstream like the carp. So, uh, today is officially uh, Children's Day, Kodomo no Hi, Children's Holiday. Uh, I'll let you look at this. This is the inlet. It's a Maizuru Bay. Check it out. It's pretty nice. So, it's quite beautiful here. Looking across the island. Sun will set in that direction. Looks like a little Mount Fuji there, see that? So pretty spectacular. So there's some loading docks down here. And but kind of misty, misty little there, looking out over the uh, Sea of Japan. That's the Sea of Japan on the west coast. And uh, there is the sky tower. Hey, thanks for the hearts. Um, yeah, so there's the sky tower. It's got a great observation deck. On top of a mountain here. And uh, is, it, uh, is it open right now? It's open? Yeah. Okay. Hey, check this out. Good news. Hey, what's up, Lorenzo? Hey, the, the dogs are get to we get to go have a lunch on the cafe. You want to carry them? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go. Hope you're enjoying the view, everybody. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around the perimeter here. Wow, listen to the birds. Look at all this carp. It's crazy. But yeah, it's quite nice. Let's go look at the other side. So looking on this side is the port of Maizuru, city of Maizuru. And we'll just take a look out over here. Hey, Taiko, thanks for inviting followers. So this is looking north, kind of a north, northwest. I guess that would be in the direction of China. I'll give you a slow pan. Actually, down there's the uh, navy, and where in World War II, the naval ships used to return from war, uh, right here. And one time, only 20% of the soldiers came back, so a lot of weeping mothers uh, were in that port right there. That was the navy, the most famous navy port, naval port of Japan during World War II. It's Maizu. And then down here is. Um, Another little town, fishing village. You can actually see the fishing traps set up here. Those are um, probably crab traps. Those are crab, looks like. It. And uh, where they, yeah. They also have like oyster farms too around here. So hey, Richard, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I said, saw some swallows. Yeah, there's some beautiful swallows right there. And we're gonna eat right there. Oh, there's my wife right there. So we're gonna eat right there on this cafe right here. We're gonna have an amazing view. So we're gonna go check out that view. Look at these carp going crazy. And uh, it's amazing. You can see the, the mountains across the Japan. That's sort of looking southwest. And this is kind of looking over the east, but Japan kind of sits on a diagonal. Wow, it looks crowded, but I think we scored on the patio. There's a line getting here, here to get in this cafe, but my wife scored it. Wow, look at that view we're going to get right there. 
hanging over the edge. That's my wife sitting on the edge of that cafe right there. Wow, it's just a balcony hanging over the edge. Okay, well, that's the cafe we get. Oh, it's crowded. A lot of people are waiting to get in. Yeah, it's I wonder why the, there's no one on the patio. Yeah, I don't know why. And it, there's a line to get in. It's yeah. it's crowded. Look at the swallows. Oh my gosh. Hey, look at the swallows. They are amazing. They, they look like jet bombers. They look like stealth fighters. Yeah, sounds good. And order me a Goro Tower burger. They're sliders. So, um, yeah, it's an amazing view, Taiko. So, and there's swallows. There weren't swallows here last time. Can you guys see those birds flying? Whoa, dive bomber. Yeah, that's an amazing view. This is one of the best views you'll see of Western Japan, maybe in all of Japan. It's considered one of the top views. This is a, this is kind of snakes out into the uh, Sea of Japan. You can see the sh boats are returning right there. A lot of cruise ships sometimes will come back in this way. It's a very protected harbor when you come back into here. You can see why the Navy chose this. It's very protected from the ocean. It wasn't protected from American bombers. American uh, bombers did eventually bomb this city yeah, during World War II. Um, but yeah, uh, most of Japan was bombed during World War II. Um, Kyoto was spared. We spared Kyoto. The Americans did. Um, mostly for cultural and historic reasons. Historical reasons and also because, you know, we didn't want to have a... We wanted to be able to be friends after the war. If we'd blown up Kyoto, that would have been their whole cultural heritage. Look at the way those birds are just flying in formation. Cool, they're just circling right now. They're just... They're just, they're not even flapping their wings, they're just coasting. They're just gliding, like gliders, hang gliders. They're swallows, they're, they're amazing flyers. Um, some birds are better flyers than others. I've, I've always been really impressed with swallows, from the ones that we have in California. These are very colorful. Got like an orange tail on them. They're fast. They can dart like crazy. Oh, so loud. So, no. Navy turret. It's Navy turret. Or actually, I wanna. So this is the naval <laughs> visor. Or you can you can choose this one. How about this? I'll have that. Nana. They have a. They had last time I was here. You can look at my old scope here. About what six months ago, seven months ago. Uh, they have this this tower of sliders <laughs> that you can have. It's green turret. Amazing. Manga, blue. Hi, hi. You like <laughs> company? So. Um, えっと、こちらからから見てます。普通です。えっと、お餅で言うと、3つ。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
this tree right here, but there's some naval ships over there. Um, you could see them last time we were here because it was uh, fall or winter. But there, this is a good place to come for fall colors. Um, you can see there's some flowers down here. Uh, there's some, some nature paths. You see the people walking around down there. And uh, so you can go on some nature trails, some hiking. Um, they look pretty easy, like easy trails. It's almost like a garden. And then um, people do walk all the way to the top of this mountain. It's only like a three kilometer hike from the, near the city. So pretty, not too far. And then, um, Probably a little bit steep though, a little steep incline. Um, but yeah, I really dig this place. Hope you guys like it. Hope you're enjoying the view. What's a slider? Don't you know what a slider is, Richard? It's like a, a mini hamburger, really mini. That you just slide it on in. Slide it. It's commonly used in America. Aren't you American, Richard? So a lot of restaurants in America. Lighters, they're mini burgers. I don't know, guilt minimizers. <laughs> What's that? Uh, 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 I like the sun a little bit. I don't know. I, I like this view. So, we're in an area. Hey, island girl, good to see you. We're in an area called Maizuru, and we're at a, a, a viewpoint called Goro, Goro Mountain or Goro Tower. There's a sky tower above us. I, we've been up there. It's it's a great view up there, but it's 360. That's what's good about it. But up here, down here, um, we, you get to have a restaurant, and this is our balcony view from the restaurant. So we're gonna have some burgers, and I don't know, my wife is gonna have some curry or something. What are you having? Are you having Green curry? curry. Green <laughs> because curry. I, mm. It's a so you can see the um, dogs. I can just put the phone right off the, the edge here. That's looking out towards China. Uh, China Sea. It's kind of, you can see some fog misting over there on top of the mountains or low-lying clouds, I guess. And um, so, and, and this is one of the best places for a sunset. When you come over on this side, the sunset's phenomenal. We're gonna have to leave before the sunset to get back to Osaka tonight. Uh, we're about a two and a half hour drive from Osaka. So we like to come out here for when we're on holiday. It's a, it's a nice drive. It's, it's, a, it's a totally scenic nature drive from Osaka. And it's a, it's a, it's a absolutely outstanding drive. So you, you drive up in the hills. It's, it's, a, it's pretty. It's not too crowded. Um, not a lot of tolls, you know, like a lot of highways in Japan have terrible tolls. Uh, this It's only about $20 in tolls. You can avoid the tolls altogether, but it adds an hour to your commute. So, um, you, know, you, you can always avoid the tolls, but just you can could, you could sometimes double your travel time. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's very beautiful nature here. Uh, you can see a lot of islands, smaller islands out in the distance there. Um, Japan has over 3,000 islands all together, but I'm not sure what the what constitutes an island. I'm, I'm sure that's an island, but you know, there's a lot of rocks. I mean, do rocks count as islands? I mean, I'm sure that it has to be a certain size. Like to me, that's just a giant rock down there, but I'm sure it's considered an island. But we have, Japan has over 3,000 islands. Wow, thanks for the invite. Appreciate that. Thanks for the invites, everybody. Thanks for, uh, someone tweeted too. That was nice. And uh, from Canada, awesome. And uh, yeah, nice to see you, Jesse. And uh, Jesse's uh, got some nice scopes from Lebanon. Everybody follow her. And uh, good, uh, speaks great English. And it's always nice to connect with uh, people who live in other countries and uh, speak great English and that helps. I've seen some really awesome scopes like from Russia but they couldn't speak English and I uh, wanted to ask questions and stuff but it was a little bit limiting but it was still a great scope. I still watch his scopes. I forgot his name but I've seen some really cool foreign scopes. I usually don't stay in them very long just to Got some views. Can you guys see the swallows coming into the screen? They're amazing.
They're just, they, they, they do like these little dive bomber maneuvers. Jesse Hutton. Oh yeah. Oh, they're, they're in triple formation. Can you guys, can you guys see the um, swallows on the uh, scope? I don't know if you can catch them or not. Well, sometimes the frame rate's not get, uh, good enough for these fast birds. But I don't know. Wow, he just did a dive bomber maneuver. <laughs> Look at that. They hardly flap, but when they do, they know how to glide, these birds. Check them out, man. They, they fly so long without flapping their wings. That's one thing that always um, blew my mind about swallows in California watching them like this. But they, they can fly quite a while, quite a, and they can just zip along. They can just change direction in, you know, on a dime. Are you, can you, are you guys making them out or not? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, um, I have a few, few Periscope friends on Facebook. I'm mostly connected with um, tw through Twitter. That's how I've mostly connected. And I'm just not a big Twitter user, but I'm trying to use it more. That's good. Yeah, I like learning about other countries. I've been to about 35 countries. This year I've been just to three, four. I've been to four countries. So, just like can you guys see them they're just like saying they're just like almost just they're flapping like crazy but they're doing some sort of ritual some sort of dance they're tripping me out and you know i find swallows to be fascinating have you guys ever heard about the swallows that return to capistrano every year like clockwork they're not they're not returning as much as they used to but um it just they would just come in swarms and just overwhelm this mission in in near San Diego and Capistrano and uh, San Juan Capistrano and it, they've been doing it for hundreds of years. Oh, like clockwork. Oh wow, beautiful! There's our green curry. That's a new one. Hey, cocoa. Cocoa. No. Cocoa. Yeah. There's my burger. It looks pretty tasty. Oh man, look at this tasty burger and an awesome view. As long as the birds don't guy bomber. Let's see. Look at these. This tasty, tasty oh. burger. It's a chicken burger. Mm -hmm. Right here. Eat this after this. Look at that, guys. That's that's generous with the weather. Oh, yes, a jug of water. Hey, Jinko, can you grab my paper? Thank you. I'm trying to scope one hand. Eat my burger. Make sure the dogs don't get a hold of me. For the swallows don't have any dive bombs on me and keep you guys uh, satisfied with the good view there and there's the dog mm. well that's different it's got like a yeah it's good it's chicken burger but it's got like curry on it well they put curry sauce on my burger here is a curry very um, famous because um Navy, um, Navy, Navy's, Navy's meals. Mm. Okay, nice. So it was curry was a very cheap and common meal for um, naval. Uh, Navy, Navy. For Navy, uh, yeah, for naval, for sailors. Very famous here. Mm -hmm. We say Navy curry. <laughs> I say Navy curry. curry. Dogs are kind of dirty. They've been playing in the dirt beach all day. <laughs> I'm the, I've been actually went camping and they were running around in the dirt. But they had a good old time. I'm covered in dirt though. Green curry is good. Would you try? Well, I have green curry on my burger. On my chicken burger. That's green curry. Green curry? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, pretty, it's amazing. Yeah, someone's pumping those hearts. Thank you. Now that's a cool view of the flying carp. Can you guys see that? 
so you guys understand what the carp is about? So, flying carp represent uh, the holiday. And there's a family of, and it symbolizes that everybody needs to struggle in life. Like the like the koi, koi are kind of like um, salmon. They swim upstream, they lay their eggs, they return to the place of their birth to spawn. Mm -hmm. So they're very similar to uh, salmon that do that. A lot of fish, I guess, do that, but I, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it just always seems bizarre to me that a salmon can go out to the ocean, come back to the place of his birth. Or her work and do it all over again. Like, how do they have that kind of a radar tracking mechanism? To make it back to their point of birth. To being in the ocean. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so the flying carp, those are, uh, look like they're swimming, see? They're swimming upstream. And you know, kids are told from an early age, today's children's day, children's holiday, right? Mm, yeah. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Today, yeah. May 3rd, right? Mm, today is uh, mm, um, uh, children's day, May 5th. Oh, May 5th. Mm. Tomorrow. Mm. Okay, so Junko, you want to put it in your words? Yeah, very uh, well, what do you think? What do you think is the symbolism of children's day in the carp? Did I explain it well, or would you would you add anything? The big ones of dad. The big ones, dad, dad, mom, yeah. Yeah. We have a child. Um. My friend's parents tried to make, <laughs> make a carp, so... Oh, they used to make them? Mm -mm -mm. Like a business. Oh, it was a business. Mm -hmm. uh, my well, friends, you only see them flying this time of year. Mm -hmm. They're not flying any other time of year, really. Mm -hmm. Before, uh, before my, my generation, mm -hmm. every house has a carp. Every house had a carp, but not so much now. And the second, our, our generation. Yeah, I think sometimes Japanese people are sort of losing track of their traditions, maybe a little bit. Well, I like a lot of the traditions. This is one of the ones I think is kind of cool. Mm. Almost done with my chicken curry burger. That was pretty tasty. Place. I got my screen sideways. I don't know if that's keeping me from seeing comments. I just like to see them. I'll try to field some places. Could you look at that thing for me? Wow. I don't know if you guys can make out the birds. <coughs> Dive bombers. They weren't here last time. They were here. <clears throat> Must be a seasonal stop in their migration. It looks like a lot of them are like burrowing underneath our box feet while we're having our. Having our uh, and I, you would be flying. I mean, it, it'd be interesting. Like, California, you'll be driving down the highway and they'll be, they'll, they'll be uh, nesting under a bridge and they start zooming in and out and you think you're going to hit them and they, they just miss your car by inches. That just always kind of freaking me out because there's nothing you can really do. Oh, glad you like it. Thanks a lot. My Zulu, that's right. Wow, someone put up the, the, the uh, kanji for my Zulu, I believe. Uh, I don't know if that's the correct kanji. 
Uh, it might have been. Let's see, might have been. Dancing crane. Yeah, it actually looks like the correct one. So, Maizutsuru means crane, and the kanji mai means, uh, like dancing. Yeah, it's the same kanji used for a maiko, which is like a, a geisha's apprentice. Dancing girl. Oh, that's a maido, sorry. Maido. My, my very proficient Scottish comrade <laughs> who lives up the coast. On, I believe Juetsu is on the west coast also. So Juetsu uh, is a city up near, um, um, well, it's quite a bit, um, was it, it's north of quite a bit. But you're on the Sea of Japan side. And um, Juetsu, everybody follows Juetsu. His scopes are brilliant. He's just an amazing scoper. He's been in Japan a lot longer than I have, and his Japanese is impeccable, from what I can tell. And uh, yeah, Joetsu is um, this fantastic, like rural countryside scopes of Japan. And um, you don't have views like this in Joetsu. You had an amazing sunset. I watched your scope uh, just uh, after we did it. We did a sunset scope too, but. We were shrouded in fog. You had a much better um, sunset than we did yesterday. But uh, for some reason, I had like 15,000 people see my scope yesterday. I don't, know, I don't know why. I usually don't get that many. Um, maybe someone featured it. But it was it was mostly a very quiet scope, and then all of a sudden there was 5,000 people in the room. Oh, it was featured. Okay, so I didn't know that. It wasn't. I thought maybe that's what caused it. Um, I've been featured like four or five times before, but it was like over six months ago, and I wasn't getting a lot of views recently. And then, some, and then uh, I guess that helped it come back. So today's going pretty good. What's the most common food around here? So what they're famous for in this area, my wife's saying it was called Navy Curry. During the Navy, uh, well, this is the biggest naval station on the west coast of Japan. It's one of the biggest ones, maybe in the whole country. Uh, the, the Navy is just over here, tucked away in the harbor, right over there. I, we, I did a, a few scopes there about six or seven months ago from the harbor over there. Um, anyways, Joetsu is up that way. A good friend there from Scotland, and he's up in that direction, up the coast. And uh, you see, have you been down here before? So, teacher people they trust. Yeah, so I had about five or six, well, maybe four or five features, but they were all over six months ago. I hadn't had any in six months. And then, um, well, I guess I had one yesterday. I, I, it's the only thing that explained why I got so, so many numbers all of a sudden. Um, it was a pretty slow scope, I was only getting like six to seven views. And then, um, yeah, uh, I don't know, once in a while, I'll, I'll, I'll get, I guess I'm averaging maybe a thousand, but, but I remember I had one school that was like 30,000 when I got featured. Uh, a, long, a long time ago, we, we were doing a Matsuri, a festival down there, and actually Keizo was um, showing off the uh, festival. I was trying to carry a shrine and breaking my back, and uh, that was back in uh, last July. <laughs> Your comments are very slow. It's all right. Oh, you've been around this area. Yeah, yeah, this is a great area to come. We we, we like to come here on holiday quite a bit. Um, we have uh, family business to take care of on occasion as well. So we like to come over here. Um, but there's a lot to do. They'll have festivals uh, down here on the marina. It's a really a nice marina, some beautiful restaurants, um, some great dining, some great, they've got a ferry ride you can take around the harbor, very cheap for like a, ten, a thousand yen, like 10 bucks. And then there's a bridge over here. So we were right over here last night. We, I did a scope last night from over on the other side of this island. And there was a, there's a island called Anja Island. Anja, Anja. Anja means like, uh, it was named after a boy who 
got separated from his brother, his older brother, who had a, they used to put like people on a leper's colony, like a disease colony. So they would choose a little island like this and then put all the sick people on the island in ancient times. And to isolate them, yeah, and uh, keep the, contain the disease. A lot of families would be broken up and there wasn't a cure for the disease. That was pretty much the end of it. So, but they, yeah, they have a lot of little islands like this that were quarantine islands, basically. Uh, we had them in America as well. A lot of people don't re realize Molokai in Hawaii was a was a leper's colony back in the 1800s. But uh, yeah. Yeah, when you didn't have a cure for stuff, that was pretty much the way you handle it. Oh, there's some sort of jet up there. Oh, the sun just hit. Oh, Japan scope, thanks for coming in. Yeah, Japan scope is great about highlighting uh, different scopes across Japan, showing off Japanese culture and uh, geography and history. I actually teach a university class this fall in September on uh, Japanese culture to, to an international uh, department of students. So I'll get the international students that all speak English, so I won't be teaching in Japanese. I, I don't think I can pull that off. Well, thanks, Jesse, for coming in. Uh, thanks for coming all the way from Lebanon. It's the other side of the world. And I'm uh, glad you've had peace for the last five or six years. Hope and pray that continues. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, everybody can follow Jesse, and there's some great scopers in here right now at the moment, and, um, yeah, I, I, I you know, think it'd be cool to, to visit the Middle East sometime. I, I went long, I went to Turkey and Egypt many years ago, but well, that was in the, <laughs> when I was a kid, I was in college. Wow, it's another lifetime ago. Thanks for all those hearts. Wow, look at those hearts coming. It looks like Valentine's Day. I can read. So, um, I hear like a fountain below a waterfall or something. How was your? Well, oh, I guess your curry was good. How about you? I thought it was. I was like, hey, I'll try a bite of that curry. No, I won't. Ah, <laughs> because now. She's laughing at me. She's like, yeah. You didn't give her a bite, did you? She looks like she just ate something. So we can show the other side of the... Uh, um, it's really kind of... looks like the Appalachian Mountains or something over there. The way the uh, Smoky Mountains, the way the uh, fog stays in the ridges. And, and San Francisco has mountains like that. But you can see like seven mountain ranges, one behind another over here. Japan's a super mountainous country. Incredibly mountainous. So, uh, are you about ready to go, hon? You want to head out to the to back to the car? Yeah. Can you uh, you want to put the dogs in the bag? I'll carry the bag. Okay. And then uh, <laughs> they're trying to do selfie with the dog. <laughs> so. I just take your picture. Mm -hmm. I'm just take your picture. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can see me taking a picture of a picture only here. Big face. Only face. Duffy and me. Face. <laughs> He's not looking. <laughs> okay, I think I got him to look. Okay, thank you. I, I already forgot. Well, uh, I want to. So, if you put the dogs in the bag, I'll 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 take them, and then you can. Uh, hey, you want? Hey, check her, check her, honey, check her. So you have a, you have a bag, right? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hurry. people will just wait here until the sun goes down it's one of, it is spectacular the whole sky lights up I uh, videotaped the sunset from here about what six seven months ago or I periscoped it it was amazing what in the world 
is this red beetle on this bag? Look at that thing, it looks colorful. That it's a flying beetle of some kind. Look at that dude. Get them off the bag before I carry them. So we gotta stuff the, the dogs in the bag before. Uh... Stay, Duffy. Don't get out of there. Can you stuff them in the bag? Just put them in the bag, and I'll carry. And then Cute. Cute. They look like little meerkats. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, gotta say goodbye to the swallow. That is such a cool bird. Amazing. Yeah, everybody, uh, it's, pretty much everybody loves small dogs. Wow, he's coming right at me. Alright, just, so, so put up a little fuss, but just, you gotta push him in there, Jimbo. We don't put him in the dog carrier too often. Come on, she's just she's just doing that for drama. <laughs> just push her down. No, zip it. Go, go. <laughs> <laughs> this dog, she's being difficult. She's sticking her nose out the carrier. All right, that's good enough. That's good enough. Oh, I can pinch your nose. Can you get rid of that bug? Okay. There we go. Uh, people still waiting. And we ate already. Yeah. I think they're very quick for inside. Throw that away. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm. And then okay. we'll, um, I need to get by. Okay. And then I'm gonna, let's go over here. I don't understand why people don't want to eat. I think they think it's too cold out here or something. It's not cold at all. People miss this view. Yeah, I'm yeah, I think oh, so. Oh, wow. it's amazing. It's Fresh hot. air. It, it's not cold at all out here. It's got, it's got. Yeah, look at it. It's cold. There's a huge wind. Wait to get into this place. Well, they got the nice views out here. Let's go. So I'll see. There's those carp, flying carp. Oh. So, I have to, oh, there's one carp, it's got its tail stuck. <laughs> They're all fighting over who gets to climb the anchor. An old anchor. <laughs> so, wow, he could break his neck. Holy cow. <laughs> okay, she's not too happy with him. Way. That is, that's incredible. It looks like a little Mount Fuji right there. See that? The way the volcano is shaped. Hopefully that's an extinct volcano. Oh, there's a hawk or something right there. That's a big bird. Big bird of prey. He's, he, yeah, he's looking for food. That is a hawk. That big hot. I wonder if he eats swallows if he could. He's huge. That is a big bird. I don't know if he could catch one though. Those guys are so fast. Oh yeah, he's he's trying to get himself a a bird in his sights. Get above one, surprise him, zoom down on the top of him. Hawks will eat other birds. I've seen it happen. There's a, look at how many, like, you get, 
you know, ranges you can see of mountains back here. You guys see that? This is just one mountain range after another. them hearts. Gonna break a record. Gonna become a super fan. This girl does not like this little boy. Telling, uh, taking over the anchor. Oh no, he's gonna take her till she falls off. Could break his neck. Not my kid, so can't say anything. <clears throat> yeah, my kids are grown. They survived their childhoods. Man, that he scared me a few times, but made that a lot. My wife's somewhere coming out. So I guess I should close the scope. Um, so I'm getting ready to drive again. I could keep the scope going for driving, but I like using the Google Maps too. When I'm driving these country roads. What do we got here? Oh, this way is Kyoto. Uh huh. Kyoto, Osaka here. Okay, Osaka behind us. Mm -hmm. So this is facing up that way through the it's ocean. A, it's a mountain. It's toward a mountain range. Mm -hmm. It's a mountain range. Osaka and Kyoto are directly Amano behind us. Mm -hmm. This is Amano Hashidate. Amano Hashidate. You guys gotta go visit mm -hmm. Amano Hashidate out in that direction. Uh, Naotoka means Russia. This way is Russia. Russia. Mm -hmm. This way is Russia. Hotel. It's Hokkaido. Well, kind of north. So, well, I would imagine Russia, China also would sort of be over this way. Korea probably would be this way. So, Korea, China, Russia. I guess that's the way to look at it. There's a nice, well, still a tree blooming. Most of these uh, blossom trees are done. See, oh, this is a, a cherry tree blossom. It's got a longer lifespan. It's about done. They, those little white pieces of prayer paper are prayers. People will tie a prayer and they'll tie it onto their rotary club. Growing love. Growing love. Nice what kind of a uh, blossom is that? Mm. It's um, past their peak. It looks like. I like. I like. Um, maybe I'll finish the scope out in this direction. All right. I uh, kind of like this view. All right, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Appreciate everybody. And uh, hope to see you again on the next broadcast. And uh, you guys should come visit Japan if you're ever interested. Hit me up, hit me a DM, or if you got questions about visiting Japan, how to do it cheaply, 
how to do it uh, in an adventurous way or in any way that you know you kind of have uh, in your imagination to do. But uh, hopefully, uh, these goats uh, spark your interest. All right, Japan's a great country. Love it here. Okay, guys, have a great, great day, great evening, wherever you're at. Hope to see you soon. Thanks.